Hello everyone, today I'm going to do unboxing and setup of the Xbox Series S. I purchased this at Best Buy, I paid $300. This was probably the only bundle that was available for Christmas and Black Friday, so I decided just to buy it. I didn't have enough patience to wait for the Xbox Series X to be available. Now this is the old digital version and comes with 512 gigabytes of SSD. Now this doesn't seem a lot, especially since some of the games, like for example Call of Duty Warzone, it's over 100 gigabytes by itself. But if you want to add the storage, extra storage, it's a very easy process. Now let's go over the box first and, and then we're gonna open it. So on the right side of the box, it says 120 frames per second, uh, Xbox Velocity Architecture, 512 gigabyte solid drive. Then we have variable refresh rate, HDR, and as I mentioned, disc free. So this won't be able to use any disc. So if you have Xbox One games on a CD, they won't work with this. Now, what it comes inside, it's a console controller, HDMI cable, and it comes with the Fortnite Rocket League downloads. So you won't get any pamphlet. We're gonna open it and double check, but I don't think it comes with any pamphlets. It's going to be, um, once you connect to your account, then you're gonna be able to add those digital downloads to your account. So the Midnight Drive Pack includes Dark Scully Outfit, Dark Scully uh, Back Bling, Dark Splitter Pickaxe, and 1000 V Bucks in Fortnite. And purple car, purple wave boost, purple wheels, and 1000 Rocket League credits in Rocket League. So let's open it and see what actually comes inside. There we go. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. Yeah, there's one more sticker. There we go. Now let's pull it on. Alright, we got that. Let's see if we can just pop it open. Maybe on this side. There we go. Now let me just pull that up a little bit. Let me zoom in for you guys. There we go. Right on top we got the actual Xbox console. It says power your dreams. I checked the weight, it's about 4.2 pounds. It is a bit heavy, but it's very, very small. Doesn't look that much bigger than my iMac mini. I mean, Mac mini. Now, let me peel this off. There we go. Now, let's pull it off. Looks very, very nice. Much smaller than the old Xbox X that I had. Now we have USB Type-A. We have button, I believe that's for controller to sync them. We have the power button. We have this fan grill on top, Xbox logo right here. On the right side, we have more grills for air. And let's see. On the bottom, we have more grills, and on the back, we have Ethernet port, Type A USB, Type A USB, HDMI. We have the storage expansion, we have the power, and then I'm not sure what this is at the end, but this is where the power plug goes. Now, let's see what else comes inside the box. We have the Xbox getting started. So it's just one paper. There we go. Now let's see what else. Now we have the HDMI. It should be fast speed HDMI cable. It's nice. 
We have the Xbox. I'm not sure if this is warranty or just getting started. There we go, we got that. Now we have the power plug. I remember when the Xbox One came out and came with that power brake, so this is so much better. And now let's see the controller. Here we got the controller. Looks pretty much same as the old one, except they added a little bit different D-pad. And they added another button. I believe this is the share button. Other than that, it seems pretty much the same. And this is the another difference. This is a USB-C right here. And um, the other one was micro USB, I believe. And then you have the 3.5 millimeter for your headset. And then this is where the batteries go. You can plug in the batteries that recharge and one of those battery packs. Wow, why did it make it so hard to open? Here we go. And this is where the two AA batteries will go. I believe they did include those. Yes, they did. So I'm probably gonna use batteries since I don't know where I left my battery pack. There we go, two double A Duracell, good brand batteries, so that's nice. And that's it. So let's, uh, I'm gonna connect and then I'm gonna set it up together. All right, so I just got it uh, plugged into my monitor. So put HDMI into that and then put the power button in the back of your Xbox and plug it in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press power button on your Xbox. Now, once that's on, monitor should detect the signal. Let's wait for that. And there we go. Let me just turn it a little bit so you guys can see the whole process. Well, that's loading. We're gonna open up the controller, battery door, and then we're gonna put in our batteries. There we go. Once we got that on, put the door back on. Now let's see if it detects it, and it did. So now, if you want to set it up with the app, this would be easiest. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to press this. Then we're going to skip that. We're going to, we're going to choose our language. For me, it's English, United States. Now we're going to choose a connection. So we're going to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Unless you already, if you're going to use a way inter internet cable, then use wired. But for me, I'm going to do the wireless. says it's all good. I'm going to press continue. Now it's going to ask me again, where do I live? United States. Now we're going to do the update. And the update is pretty big. It's 1.2 gigabytes. So we're going to have to do that. Depending on your internet speed, this can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes or something like that. All right, now it says press and hold to turn on your controller. Now we're gonna press and hold. And there we go. Now it says press A. There we go. So it's next, you'll sign with a Microsoft account. Now this is very important because of that digital bundle that comes with, the, with this Xbox. So make sure you use your main account. Now, if you never use Xbox, you can sign in with any email. So you can use a Gmail, Outlook, I believe even iCloud. You don't have to use uh, Microsoft email. All right, so I just put in my 
password and everything. It says not, uh, how we use your data. Um, let's do tell me more. It says what data gets collected. If you want to go over that. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go next. It says level up your gaming experience. When you share optional data such as app and feature use, no thanks. When we share data with publishers, let's see, tell me more. All right, back, next. says we found the settings from your last Xbox, including system preference, accessibility. Want to apply them now? Yes. How do you want to sign in? Uh, use the Insta sign in to be ready to play as soon as this Xbox console is turned on. Only one person can use the Insta sign in or link, link the control you hold into your profile and will sign you in. I'm just going to do use instant sign in. And here we go. This is the thing I was talking about. Um, you have the Fortnite Midnight Drive Pack, which comes with the Dark Scully Upfit, uh, Back Blink, Splitter Pickaxe, and 1000 V Bucks. And also, let me see if I can select that. I can. We got um, Rocket League Bundle, Purple Car, pu Purple Wave Boost, Purple Vios, and 1000 Rocket League Credits. Now, I will just claim both of these because this is my main account. So I'm just going to press claim it. So once I download the game, um, the stuff should pop up right away and I should receive those. Success. And now for some reason, oh, okay. So this is for the other one, Rocket Link. Okay, claim it. Success. Now, this is where you join Xbox Game Pass. Let's see if there's any other plans. Now, I'll just show you the regular prices. Now, you can get the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now, with the Ultimate, you can play it on the PC and console and mobile. So, this would be the best of the best. Now, if you want just Game Pass for the Xbox, it's going to be $5 cheaper. So, we'll get it for uh, $9.99. Game Pass Ultimate is $14.99, and then you can get Xbox Live Gold. With the Live Gold, it lets you play online. For example, if you want to play Warzone, Fortnite, and so on and so on, but you won't be getting any Game Pass games. And then you also have EA Play, which is $4.99. You will get all the EA games, like NFL, basketball, and hockey, and they have a few other games. Battlefield, I believe. And some other games now of course the best value is the game pass ultimate especially if you have a pc because you will get 100 plus games on console pc and mobile day one releases xbox live gold membership which comes with it just xbox live is not uh, 9.99 then you get free perks every month and plus you get that ea, EA play which is 4.99 and then you get member discount rewards and perks. Right now, I'm not going to use either of those. I already have a card that I'm going to use. Now it says, let's go. And there we go. And it's already installing some games. Now I'm going to go and see, let's see something. Q. I'm just going to pause this one for now. So it's installing those two games already. Right now, I don't want to install them. I don't think I'm going to be playing Fortnite Rockland. I might in the future, but maybe not now. I'm just going to install something that I really want to play right now. And um, so all the games should be uploaded here. This is where all my game section is. It's probably going to take a while. But other than that, and there we go. Now, an another thing you want to do is you want to probably, let's see, 
what you want to do is probably go settings. You want to do devices and connections. We're going to go accessories and we're going to update the controller. So we're going to press that. That's the main thing. First thing you should probably do. And there we go. We're just finished with the control update. I do recommend this is the first thing you do once you get that to the main menu. Now you can configure it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to back out. I'm happy. Um, now, if you want to add another account, you're going to go all the way to this. Now you can do add or switch. You can add a guest or you can add another account. I usually have two accounts. Sometimes I play with this one and sometimes I play with the other one. So that's it. That's my unboxing setup. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.